This goes out to you and you and you. Check it out. One, two, one, two. Uh -huh. Okay, so tonight we're having turkey burgers. So the first thing I'm going to do is get ready and chop up and prep my onion. I like to go ahead and slice my onions and add it to the ground turkey uh, before I cook it so that the flavor is all throughout the meat. You see my knife here, my onion, my nice little Michelle cutting board that I got for Christmas. So I'm going to slice this onion up and get back to you when I'm ready to mix up all of my ingredients. Okay, so I have all of my onions chopped up. So I'm going to start with my ground turkey and I just have a small 16 uh, ounce or one point what is it a 16 ounce or a one pound container I'm just gonna take my knife and open that up I have a metal bowl right here in front of me so I'm just gonna put this in the bowl Move this over to the side I have my chopped onions right here on the cutting board and I'm gonna add all of those so it's quite a bit of onion I did not use uh, all of the onion or even half. I used about a fourth to a third of the onion uh, just so it can give the turkey a lot of flavor because we know that turkey can be dry if you don't add to it and kind of it picks up on the seasonings that you like. I have some garlic right here and it's just garlic powder. Just add some of that. And also have some of the body of complete and actually, I think I have one open in the cabinet, so I'm going to get this one and just use the rest of the one that I already had open. I'm going to add a little of the Creole seasoning, and this is the Tony, what is it? I can't see it, but it's the kind that you get just from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to add a little of that. And then another thing I like to add is barbecue sauce. Instead of adding an egg, I want something to moisturize it, but I want it to have a lot of flavor to build up on that flavor. And so I just add some of this barbecue sauce. And I'm not adding too, too much. And let me show you what, you, the, what it would look like. So this is what it's looking like in the bowl all together before I mix it all up. I'm going to mix all of these ingredients together and make them into patties, probably three large patties, and then I'll be right back. So before I made the patties, I wanted you to see what it looked like once I used my spoon and incorporated all the ingredients. You can see the big pieces of onions, which are, which are really going to cook down and be really tasty once I start uh, heating up the stove and get these burgers inside. Okay, so I started the burgers inside the skillet. As the burgers begin to cook, I'm going to take these um, peppers form or pepperidge form. They're the onion buns and I'm going to put some butter in a pan and start toasting them up. I like them to be nice and toasty. The burgers can cook down. I'm going to flip them in about two to three minutes to cook the other side, add some cheese and let it melt all together and I'll be back when I begin to assemble. Also, as the cheese is melting, I've already toasted the onion buns. So here's the top and the back. They're nice and toasty and buttery and ready for toppings. Okay, so now the burgers have cooked on both sides. I'm just leaving them in the pan for another minute to let the cheese melt. If you can see it's starting to melt and bubble down the sides. And then I'm going to take them out and finish off the burger. I forgot. I forgot to mention that the type of cheese I use was just the Target's uh, Good and Gather. It's the Pepper Jack that they sell regularly for $1.99. And this is the final burger. It's a turkey burger. I have some organic green mix and a couple of slices of Roma tomato. Uh, you can add peppers or whatever else you want. Pickles on top. I'm not a pickle person myself, but throw in some chips or a side of fries. And this is dinner. Thanks for watching, guys.